Y F H zero four zero zero one B part of Orient Star's Retro Future Collection. The Retro Future Collection uses four industrial motifs from the nineteen fifties as a dis design inspiration of the line. In this example, the watch has an airplane inspired design. Now before we go into actual functionality of the watch, what I want to stress that it's a mechanical self-winding watch. What that means, simply put, is that when you wear the watch, uh, the movement of the watch on your wrist, that energy is stored inside a spring. Now that spring, with the use of micromechanics, utilizes that stored energy for your timekeeping of your watch. Now this, me this mechanism is called a mechanical movement. And if you ever see the inside of this watch, that means no batteries or electronic components inside the watch. Now what makes Orient an even better choice is that they use their own in-house movement, which is uncommon in the industry. This watch has time and power reserve indicator as their major functions. At full charge, the watch's power reserve is 40 hours. Now notice by the 12 o'clock position that we have a power reserve indicator. Now what that is, is that it's a gauge that lets you know how much power the spring has in units of hours. So in our example, there are 10 hours remaining in the watch's spring. Now what does that mean? As provided that the watch is stationary, every hour that indicator will show one unit less. So one hour later this should show nine. And then an hour later it should show eight. When it goes and hits zero, your watch is going to stop. When you wear the watch, you'll notice how the indicator will go towards the 40 over a course of time. Now uh, let's take a look at the semi-skeleton dial. Now all that means, it, it, all that really means is that it has several holes on the dial so that you can take a, take, you know, take a look at the mechanics of the watch. Notice on the 9 o'clock position that you can see a balance wheel. And the other hole is by the 3 o'clock position which lets you see the stem of the crown. Now this is a nice feature because you can see the stem turn as you adjust the watch's time. Let's take a look at the dial and notice how interesting the design is. You'll notice that it looks like an instrument panel on a, in a plane and the X design is inspired by a runway. The second hand is located at the bottom and looks like a gauge in a cockpit and there's attachment in the middle of the sapphire crystal to make the hour and minute hands look like propellers. Now the dial color is black and the crown is, a screwed down, uh, is screwed down by design to prevent unwanted water into the case. Now this case is 100 meters and has a bold finish which adds to the sporty arrow effect in line with the airline motif. The edge crown, which is good for gripping, is located by the 3 o'clock position which is used for time adjustment. Take a look at the back of the case and you'll notice that you can see the movement with the exhibition case back. Notice how a air engine turbine design was added to the effect. The band is solid stainless steel and carries the same inspiration as the case. The links used uh, use the same X X shape for the links in line with the design on the dial. The buckle is a push button fold over clasp with the official Orient Star logo on the buckle. This is YFH 04001B.